It's a bit like old times at the Gaelic grounds. Monster Championship time once again, and the Mackey stand packed to the rafters. Limerick on home soil introduced two championship newcomers, Billy Kennedy at left corner back, and college student Pat Heffernan at top of the right. Of interest, five of the team won All-Ireland minor medals in 1984 and followed this up with under-21 glory three years later. Clare will be hoping that progression doesn't continue. A big step up into the championship arena for five of their side, among them wing-backs Pat O'Rourke and John Chaplin, while the others figure in attack alongside those familiar names Tommy Gilfoyle and Val Donlan. One pivotal confrontation fits Limerick's Gary Kirby, one of the five with that partially completed All-Ireland medal set, against Clare's John O'Connell, who's been struggling to shake off the effects of a hamstring injury picked up six weeks ago. Referee Willie Barrett from Tipperary handled last year's league final between Kilkenny and Wexford, and it's Clare who play with the aid of a useful breeze in the first half. That's Kieran Carey now of Limerick. Obviously, the Clare tactic is to try and get a settling down period, get some scores on the board. Pat Heffernan here. One of those coming into the championship as a newcomer, Terence Kenny, having come right out from the full forward position. Heffernan now, can he turn this into a score? Limerick then looking menacing. Oh, it was mishit and well defended in the end. Galligan, the player, coming in. And on the second occasion, he gets the chance and puts it over the bar, and Limerick go in front. So Jimmy Barry Murphy, the clear tactic, they play with the wind and clearly they want to build up their confidence. Well, Jared, in a situation clear in playing away from home today, a young team, I think they needed to play with the wind and try and get a few early scores, but that's a bit of a setback, a very good point by Mike Galligan. He pulled in the ball first, went off his leg, but in the second attempt he gathered it and scored a very good score. Dave Fitzgerald is the Clare goalkeeper, straight out of the minor ranks. Tommy Gilfoyle there, tussling with uh, Pa Carey. Carey has excelled in the championship over the last number of years. Free to be taken by Mike Houlihan. Getting plenty of length into it. Johnny Lee, the clear fullback, coming out, making it his. Not such a good clearance. Back towards Galligan. And a second chance and a second point for Mark Galligan. He really is impressing in these opening minutes. And the man who's got the task of marking him, Pat O'Rourke, certainly looks to have a handful. Here's Galligan gathering the ball. Runs onto it well. That's an excellent point. And it's a very good start by Limerick and Clare really need to score again, get into the game. Cut out by Brian Finn. Into the centre to Anthony Carmody. Works hard in the middle of the field for Limerick. Gives away possession and a sideline ball. Directed in above the head towards Val Donnellan and Joe O'Connor, the fullback. Really good play. Outside to Brian Finn. Completing the clearance, not such great length into it. Mike Rail coming onto it. Up to Kieran Carey. Limerick certainly looking like they hold the upper hand in this 70 minute contest. Mike Gallagher again against Pat O'Rourke. That will do O'Rourke's confidence a lot of good. Cyril Lyons. Up to Tommy Gilfoyle. And Clare get off the mark through the sharp shooting of Tommy Gilfoyle. A player who'll be remembered from Clare's last Munster final back in 1986. Tommy Quay then with his puck out. First of the match. Picked up here by Michael McNamara. Well blocked down by Mike Houlihan. Good defending. Some fine defensive play being illustrated by Limerick in these opening minutes. Shanahan's cut. Tommy Guilfoyle just got a nudge on that one, I think, and Declan Nash completing the clearance. Missed in the centre by John O'Connell. Recovered well, however, here by Pat O'Rourke. Settling down now after conceding the first two scores to Mike Galligan. Good delivery, well in, and somehow it's scrambled away by Tommy Quaid. It's the game's first 65, but a real hint of danger that time as O'Rourke flighted that one into the danger area, and the Clare forwards were certainly raiding. Excellent play by Pat O'Rourke there, a wing back there. Gathers the ball and heads into the Limerick defence. A high dropping ball, the forwards are backing in on top of uh, Tommy Quaid with the defenders. It's a very difficult ball for the goalkeeper to gather. He just under pressure, he can't hold on to it, but he knocks it over at 65. Excellent play. Meanwhile, back in the centre, Sir Alliance has taken the 65, he's put it over the bar, and the sides are on level terms. Tommy Quaid's lengthy puck out, wind assisted. Sir Alliance miss hitting. Michael Rail pressing it forward. Pat O'Rourke here against Mike Coolahan. Coolahan still pressing forward. 
and Johnny Lee gets in a much better clearance on this occasion. Up towards Michael McNamara. Tommy Gilfoyle here, one of the point scorers for Clare. On his left-hand side, nicely directed, and it's curled in. A lovely point from a huge distance out, 65 metres out easily. Tommy Gilfoyle's second point of the match, and Clare go in front. Rocked last year, of course, we'll remind you, by 14 points, but uh, I was down watching training during the week, and they were quite confident that they could certainly bridge that considerably. Rail gets it up towards Pat Heffernan, been marked over there by Anthony Daly. Back it goes again, it's time to uh, Pat Heffernan. And the foul has been committed, free into Limerick. Target practice then for Gary Kirby. We were mentioning at the beginning of this match that John O'Connell, his marker, had uh, a hamstring problem over the last couple of weeks. In fact, Gary Kirby picked up a thumb injury in training on Tuesday and was something of a doubt earlier in the week. And he's done the business well, puts it over the bar from the free, and they're level here at the Gaelic grounds. Meanwhile, Davy Fitzgerald, who kept gold for that star Clare minor team back in 1987, pocking it out. Got a favourable bounce on to Michael McNamara, and that's another very useful strike. So Clare go back in front for the second time in the game. Michael McNamara getting his first point of the match. The marksmanship very impressive so far in this tussle, Jimmy, and we've only got seven minutes gone. Yeah, sure, both Mike McNamara and uh, Tommy Gilfoyle are in great shape, and uh, Limerick halfback, they need to tighten up a lot because these fellas look like they can score from any angle, and they're really on their game. They battle for it in midfield, it's Carmody who nudges it on. John Chaplin racing across from his left half-back position, hand-passing it back to John Russell, experienced defender John, coming out to try and take this one in his stride was Billy Kennedy, the debutant in the championship, and the linesman Jerry Long, off Tipperary, deciding that it went off the defender. Cyril Lyons to be the taker. Once again, a very useful cut up inside towards Val Donlan. Pulled back in some trouble, races out here into the centre. And it's Fergus Tui. Beaten for it, however, and it's Declan Nash taking it clear. To Kieran Carey. Over his head, however, John Chaplin going back there. Good lengthy strike, batted out by Brian Finn, comes back down. And Pa Carey again, lovely economy of style, out to Declan Nash. They're doing well on that particular side of the half-back line, despite the attempted block down. Up as far as the corner forward, John Russell trying to get it out. Hoops, Terence Kenny there. This is Shane Fitzgibbon, who switched across to the right-hand side. Now to Gary Kirby. Remember, it's four points to three. Clare in front. Early stage in this match. Johnny Lee easily able to account for that one. Blocked down, however. Brings it by Michael. And Terence Kenny with the shot. Comes off the defender's legs. Off Pat O'Rourke's legs. And Clare rather fortunate. Sir Lyons hooked. Magnificently so. By Pat Heffernan. It's given a cut player from UCC. But a right bit of action down in front of that Clare goal. I think Clare were, Clare were very lucky there. Ger. Johnny Lee threw up the ball on the edge of the square which is always a dangerous thing to do when Terence Kenny had a, small, a, a half chance of a goal, but look, they were very lucky to escape on that occasion. So this is Anthony Carmody, up as far as Mike Gallagher, and to press forward. A scoring chance now presented for Gallagher, that should be his third of the match. Sides back on level terms again. Showing himself to be a very, very useful performer. Tommy Gilfall was racing for it, came off uh, Pa Carey, up to Val Donlan. Joe O'Connor trying to keep the full forward away from it, Michael McNamara racing in, and instead it's picked up here by Mike Houlihan. Ooh, a high challenge round the neck by Cyril Lyons, and the referee Willie Barrett having no hesitation whatsoever in awarding the free out to Limerick. I uh, think Limerick at the stage of safety to get into grips with Clare and uh, it's ominous for Clare that uh, Kieran Carey and uh, Mike Galligan getting into their stride now and I think they could, they could pose problems for Clare backs. So this is Mike Hula. Down towards Pat Everton. Let's it bounce off him. Clare going across with John O'Connell there to try and keep it away from Pat Heffernan. Pat O'Rourke trying to get it up instead. It's uh, Anthony Daly the one who finally gets in the clearance but another sideline ball the outcome. So a chance then for Limerick to maintain the pressure. Comedy the taker. Oh, the 
fullest of the sideline balls we've had so far. Comes out, however, to Gary Kirby. It's all a bit of a dummy. Getting by Cyril Lyons, but that's a poor ball. John Chaplin coming racing out. Gary Kirby in pursuit. That's the 65-metre line. That's now the Limerick 65-metre line. So he's made good headway. Supplies the telling pass to Michael McNamara. Scoring chance. Oh, dear, after all the good work. He never got the length into it that he would have desired, but instead he gets a 65 because Joe O'Connor took it down, not with any great deal of conviction, and carried it out over the end line. But a good run forward that time. Next run by John Chaplin, and uh, he released the ball very well to uh, to Michael McNamara, and certainly a chance of a score for Clare, and I think that uh, they're, the scores, they're the type of scores they need to take if they're to go in ahead at half-time, which I think they need to do. And we haven't missed anything. The 65 has been taken by Sir Lyons. He curled it to the left, and he put it wide. Comes off Cyril Lyons' stick. Oh, and Michael McNamara has been injured there. Mike Houlihan hitting onto that one. Meanwhile, the other Mike, Mike Daffy, has come in, taken up the faces, and he's put it over the bar. And so Clare hit the front once more. Michael Daffy, the scorer. But there was an accident just a moment or two prior to that, and Michael McNamara is the injured party, not wearing a helmet. And happily, Michael McNamara from Prashine can come back into the action. Mike Daffy, unable to provide the pass in for the aforementioned Pat Minogue. Sun has broken through a leaden sky, and it really is now a very pleasant afternoon. Declan Nash, and there was some holding over there, the holding of uh, Pat Heffernan by Anthony Daly. So Gary Kirby taking maximum care over this one. Seemed to mishit it. Oh, it's Davey yeah, Fitzgerald. He's almost put in trouble that time, and Pat O'Rourke. Finally grateful to get in the clearance, but I get the feeling that Gary Kirby didn't connect as he would have wished that time. I'm sure he was going for a point. Back in the centre, Mike Rail. Declan Nash trying to go over there and try and close down Mike. Daffy didn't succeed. Rail once again, Daffy breaks out. There's Declan Nash. Play just a little bit patchy now in the last few minutes after a very impressive opening seven. Kieran Carey, Will Clare to watch for the future. Gary Kirby outside here to Anthony Carmody. Beat the challenge of John O'Connell, sends it in. Shane Fitzgibbon under it there with John Russell. Russell trying to nurse it away from the danger area. Johnny Lee standing his ground at fullback, takes the shoulder comfortably. Soloing out stylishly into the centre, but again rather carelessly put away. And it's Pat Heffernan who picks it up. The corner forward out from the corner position to Anthony Carmody. Opens up those broad shoulders, gets in a good strike, but it tails to the left, and it's gone wide. Limerick's first wide of the match, but uh, again Johnny Lee there, not exactly getting any great deal of length into the kicked clearance, and almost putting his defence in some further trouble. Pat Minogue. And support required here by Mike Houlihan. Happy to be able to hit that one-handed over towards Kieran Carey's wing. The Limerick's Hurling Supporters Club voted him their Player of the Month for April. Mike Rail taking the pass. Johnny Lee coming out, but he was hanging back just a little bit, and Terence Kenny was in a little bit smarter. Now, can he turn this into a scoring opportunity? Pat Heffernan can't hold it. Comes out to John Chaplin. Chaplin has certi certainly started well in this match. Finally getting it across towards Cyril Lyons' wing. Up towards the inside forward line. But coming racing out there and missing it, and grateful to see that Joe O'Connor was in behind him, was uh, Billy Kennedy. Kieran Carey didn't add to it. And said it's Anthony Daly for Clare. Clare, remember, playing with the aid of a breeze in the first half, and they'll be hoping to translate that into territorial superiority and scores on the board. At the moment, they lead by a point. And that's Michael McNamara trying to stretch it to two. Good save by Tommy Quaid. Quaid today playing in his 34th championship match. That's an action save by Tommy Quaid. You're just what your defenders like to see, a goalkeeper gathering the ball with confidence under his own crossbar, and that'll give the defenders great confidence. Tommy Guilfoyle beaten for it, but there's support from Mike Daffy. Daffy has hit it superbly well over the crossbar. He's got two points in the match, and he's opened up a two-point differential. 
Clare, six points to four the leaders. 